glad to be with you for another Sunday School lesson. And I'm back at my rosebud trees because the wind the other day took away all the blossoms from my crab apple tree. Hmm. Anyway, that's the way the weather goes. Today's lesson for Easter 6, we're in Easter tide, is called The Holy Spirit Comes Down. Oh, a short lesson, but a wonderful lesson. So let's get started with prayer. Let us pray. Jesus, you came for all people. May your spirit come down upon us and our neighbors and the people of our state and the people of our country, the people of Mexico and Guatemala and South America. Jesus, you came for all people. Amen. Okay, our lesson, the Holy Spirit comes down, is found in Acts, the 10th chapter, verses 44 through 48. While Peter was still speaking, the Holy Spirit fell upon all who heard the word. The circumcised believers who had come with Peter were astounded that the gift of the Holy Spirit had been poured out even on the Gentiles. For they heard them speaking in tongues and extolling God. Then Peter said, can anyone withhold the water for baptizing these people who have received the Holy Spirit just as we have? So he ordered them to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Then they invited him to stay for several days. Wow. The Gentiles, they were a people apart from the nation of Israel. How wonderful and how great of Peter to tell them that the Gentiles could be baptized. So let's get right to your leaflets. The, there goes my Bible, it's a little windy out here. <laughs> the, uh, younger first and second graders uh, leaflet has God for you, God for me on the front. Enough love for everyone. How great a message. Now, you're supposed to use Play-Doh and I'm not sure I would do it differently I think than what they said but they want you to put Play-Doh eyes on the eyes of the crowd. So, and put that sticker in there, all right? So you know the, the focus of the lesson. And then in the middle, it's covered in love, and it says some of the ways that God shows love to us. And then it asks for two drawings of two more ways to feel God's love for you. Mm, the Holy Spirit maze, whoosh, it says. This looks a little trickier than what I expected. In fact, I think it looks trickier than the one that's in the older kids' leaflet. So take your pencil and carefully put the Holy Spirit to the baby and the older woman and the young man in a wheelchair, all the people. And then your stickers go on Faith on the Go. And on the back, this time, it asks you to look about eyes. And here are some people, I would think maybe children, children's eyes. Did you ever look? We're all people. We all have heads and arms and bodies, but our eyes are really quite unique. So look at yours and the eyes of these other people. And then maybe check out your brother and sister's eyes. Okay, moms, dads, See what their eyes look like, too. And on the bottom, God for you, God for me. It says some things that you might want to do to share God's love. Lots of great ideas there. Lots. All right. The older kids 
has, I wonder, statements. Hmm. I don't know. I Well, that middle one is kind of tough, maybe. But they're great ones to think about. And then the strong, silent type is a great story about a young man and about kids. Kids everywhere. So check out that story. And then here the Holy Spirit comes down eventually, it says, because you're supposed to do your maze. And just figure it out. Mazes can be tricky, but they're usually not too hard. There's Look It Up where you can find um, an idea of what the Holy Spirit might look like. And fun facts. Oh, this was a great one because it tells us things. These are facts. And they're great facts. The great facts. A plane flying 400 miles per hour would get to the sun in about 20 years. Hmm, that's a long time. 400 miles per hour is pretty fast, too. So, and down here for your activity to do with your fingers is spirit spinners. So, this you're supposed to make and have it turn out a little bit like a frisbee, I think. That's just my perception of it. You're supposed to cut on the solid lines, and that means you have to cut out these little flat type things and bend them up and then decorate it however you want. This top side and then the back side, bottom side. And then you're supposed to throw it and see how far you can get the spirit spinner to fly. Hmm. Didn't I did not try that. I do not know how well it would work, but it seems like a great thing to try. I'm not sure I ever did anything quite like that. But here on the back, it says about paper airplanes. And a fun fact had to do with a paper airplane too. That I've done a lot. So um, you can do that too. That's faith on the go. And there's quite a few things to do for faith on the go. Some really easy ones too. So check it out. Try to do one. They're great ways to share your faith, your love of God, and God's love for you. That's the end of this very short but very important lesson. That the Spirit came down on a group of Gentiles listening to Paul. Let's close in prayer. Let's pray. God, your spirit falls on all people. Who are we to get in the way? Jesus, you came for everyone. Who are we to get in the way? Spirit, pour your love on the world. Who are we to get in the way? Peter was right to say, can anyone withhold the water for baptizing? Who are we to get in the way? Amen. Have a great week. Enjoy the lovely weather when we have it and the not so good weather when we have that too. See you next time. Bye.